Hey guys, it is the Gothic Sexy Queen here, back with another video. This video is gonna be different. I've never, I've done a video like this, but I, well, you know, I'll under, I'll explain in the next clip. But um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, that post notification bell button, so you guys can always be notified when I upload a video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, your family, and anybody else that you think that will enjoy this video and me on all my social media accounts they will also be linked down in the description below and let's cue that black shadow and start this video hey you guys so i have a surprise for you guys i've never collabed with anybody on my channel ever and i am collabing with Yes, they can see okay. me. I am collabing with one of my friends. Her name is Rosa Tanessica. Um, her social media links will also be linked in the description as well as mine. Um, we are starting the first episode of my series, Tips and Advice Today. And um, she's been wanting to collab with me for a long time. So I said, hey, you know, why not? But um, yeah, we're going to collab. And um, the first episode is going to be 20 tips on how you know that your boyfriend, fiance, husband, whatever, is cheating on you. I'm going to do 10, and she's going to do 10. Since she's my guest, I think she should... Okay, guys, so I got five, and she has five. She's going to go first, because she's my guest. Um, hey, guys, my name is Rosa, as she mentioned before. So um, I'm doing a collab with her on five signs a guys, guys cheat, or how guys cheat. So one, um, it's gonna go one me and one her. Okay. Okay. Um, one is um, when the intimacy stops, when he's no longer um, into you, like he doesn't wanna, you know, kiss you, touch you, play with you, type of thing. <laughs> in a regular relationship, every sorry, in every, <laughs> in every relationship. People, people want to do that, like play with each other, even play fight, whatever it is. But you know, it's a natural thing for people in a relationship to do, right? So, um, you go. Okay, so my first one is, um, well this one was five, but it doesn't really matter. My first one is usually girl's intuition. When your intuition is saying he's cheating on you, he's cheating on you. Well, most likely it is that he's cheating on you. And 50-50, he's cheating on you. And maybe 50-50, he's trying to... Maybe. maybe. Or, no, what I mean, maybe he's trying to, like, surprise you with something. So he's being sort of kind of secret. But most likely, when your intuition is saying he's cheating, he's cheating. He's <laughs> I'm sorry. We're laughing because my fiancé is a guy. And my fiancé is sitting right here listening to us talk about guys that cheat so you guys know that he's feeling a bit boy <laughs> and um my fiance will be collabing with me on another video versus this one um the second episode and it's gonna be 10 things on how a girl cheats so yeah it, 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 yeah it's, yeah this this is gonna be a fun um, series so the other um, way that you know that your guy's cheating is the stories don't match up. After work, um, if we know your schedule after work. It's nine to five, and you go uh, to the mall with your friend, DK, your friend, right? DK, <laughs> your friend. But it's not true. You're, you're, you're doing some, some strange stuff, you know? Like, no, we know your schedule will be home at. 7 p.m. <laughs> like, straight up. <laughs> okay. Um, my second one. My second one is gonna be. They're arguing with you over everything, and 
you, this is sort of kind of relatable for me. My my parents right now, their relationship is sort of kind of rocky, and my dad argues with my mom for on every single situation. And my dad, my, sorry, my mom feels like my dad is cheating. My dad, my mom has seen my dad with other women and stuff like that. So, you know, sometimes it's true. You know, they sometimes they start arguing with you because they don't want to tell you that it's over. They just, they want you to just leave. So like at the end of the day, they won't hurt you. You won't get hurt or anything. But like at the end of the day, they don't want they don't want to say the words we're over. They just want to try to push you out the way. Just sort of kind of. Um, oh, sorry guys. My fiance is just making these weird faces. And that's my, I think that's my second one. You're right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going up to the one right now. He smells different. If, if he's coming out of work, right? <laughs> he shouldn't be smelling like perfume. All right? He shouldn't be smelling like a girl. Like he, he went out with another girl. So, tick, tick, he's cheating on you. Um, yeah, but what, okay. Let's make this interesting. What if one of his co-workers hugged him? Or oh. because he, he, he won, he got a promotion. So his co-workers were excited and they hugged him. Give me my chip. Um... It depends, because I had a situation like that before that happened with somebody else, but um, the guy literally uh, told the girl, you know, like, I don't want to have anything to do with you and whatever. He stood up for himself. But in some cases, guys don't let girls hug them all the time. And I do not like that. Class. Okay. So, Give me a second. I gotta... I'm not even on the frame. Okay. So... Another thing is that he's not paying attention to you. Now, this could mean different things. One, it could mean he's tired of you. Two, he's just tired in general. Or three, he's just not into the relationship. So, you know, him not paying attention to you could be different. It could be different reasons why he's not paying any attention to you, but it doesn't always necessarily mean that he is cheating but if you feel that he's cheating then i feel like you should bring light to it and like ask him but you know some you know guys they don't really like to you know say they're cheating when they're cheating they like you know to tip around the butt i've, I've been through it multiple times so yeah and that's my third one my fourth one is he has mood swings. One minute he's happy with you, the other minute he's like, oh, uh, um, I need, I need space. Which sometimes in a relationship you do need space, but when you're with each other for a long time, you really do not need the space. I don't believe that as a, as a thing. You know. <laughs> don't pay attention to him. He's distracting you. Um, yes, I have ADD, so he's distracting me kind of thing, so. <laughs> um, but, Stop distracting yeah. her. How am I distracting Go to the room! <laughs> I'm done. Okay. So, my number four is, he's not giving you affectionate. And, you know, she, she's, I, I believe she, she gave an example for that, but my example is just, he's just, he just doesn't want to be near you. He doesn't want to hug you, he doesn't want to kiss you, he doesn't want to do anything with you, he doesn't want to play any board games, he's just stuck on his video games, ignoring you, just not paying you any of attention. And And number five is when you're outside and you see him flirting with other girls. I do not like that. No go for me. If I see you flirting with another girl, take me to the train. I want to go home. I don't enjoy that. I would just walk to the train on my own. <laughs> what if I don't know the space? That's true. That's true. Um, my number five one is something that um I've been through personally. It's when the guys have you know those female friends. You oh my know, god! Me those... too. Like, totally, like, oh and I've god. been through that. Uh, multiple, on multiple occasions. Personally, I've went through that. 
so I can actually talk about this and like, you know, from a personal level, any girl that's going through this with their guy, I feel you, I feel your pain. You know, we our intuition says the girl is flirting with them. The girl starts, you know, looking all cutesy, playing with her hair, smiling on him and shooting flirt looks whenever we're not paying attention. And then once we are paying attention, you know, she's acting all innocent. And you know, there's some times where you look at her and you'll catch her flirting and she'll just like totally just, you know, just stop right when you're looking at her. And I've went through that personally with the person I am, I've been through that. So I personally can totally feel you guys, feel you girls that go through this with your, your guys. I, I know exactly what you're going through and yeah. So do you want to say anything? What should I say? I forgot. Um, so, just just be careful, you know. Like, don't let guys um, run over you. Exactly. And if you feel like the guys are running over you, just stand up for yourself, put your foot down, and speak up for yourself. Because sometimes they won't go anywhere if you have a good, you know, vagina, and you work it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, like I said before, I will put all her social media links in the description below. She does music, you guys. She has um, all the social medias that you guys can think of. You have Instagram, right? Yes, I do have yeah. Instagram, Tumblr, Snapchat, Facebook. Just hit me up. All her links will be in the description below. If you would like us to do another collab, just comment down below or inbox me via Instagram, um, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, or you guys can hit me up via Facebook Messenger. You guys know the deal. That was the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this video will also be on her page as well. Um, so you guys can check it on my page and then you can guys go check it on her page. I'll put her YouTube link to her um, YouTube um, channel in the description below so you guys can also go check it on her page as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.